hey guys in this video i want to be talking about few rabbit disease their prevention their causes and possibly their cure so as a rabbit farmer you are supposed to know all this in case you see any of this in your rabbit either you will be able to prevent it or you can actually cure it so in this our channel we teach you how to become successful rabbit farmer successful rabbit breeder and a pet owner so if that's what you find interesting consider liking this video subscribe to our youtube channel if you're yet to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so this um rabbit you are seeing on the screen here is affected by the disease called mench mench disease is also caused through um dirty environment you will notice the rabbit will start having skin loss this disease is not actually um too hard to cure you can just get ivermectin injection and inject it on the rabbit 0.5 mil if it's very severe or 0.3 mil if the issue is not very very severe so after injecting um the ivermectin injection you inject it at the back of the rabbit at the back ivermectin injection is being injected to a rabbit once in 14 days so after you inject it once you wash the rabbit for 14 days if it has improved then you stop injecting but if it has not you can inject again and watch it out so the next disease on our screen here i want to be talking about is ear mites also known as ear canker yes ear mite also known as ear canker is a disease that affects the rabbit at the ear and sometimes you notice at the nose to the nose will become strong and stuff like that the disease affects the rabbit at the ear one of the major causes of this disease is true dirty environment here yes, there is an insect that enters the rabbit's ear and starts eating it up so their ear will start becoming very very strong as you have seen it on the screen so one of the ways you can actually prevent this particular disease is by keeping very clean hygiene but what if you keep uh, clean hygiene and by mistake you see this disease but it's very very rare if your cages are clean and everywhere is clean you will hardly see this particular disease if you keep your cages clean and you do all the necessary things and you see this kind of disease there are some few things you need to look out for there are some few things you need to do no need to um panic you can just inject the rabbit the same ivermectin ivermectin works for skin infection once in 14 days you inject it 0.3 or 0.5 depend on how severe the injury the um ear might is don't try to peel it just inject the ivermectin and it will be peeling on its own another thing you can also do to help the rabbit is to put in red oil inside the ear put in red oil yes put in red oil inside the ear that can also help yes so keep clean hygiene and you won't see this particular disease i assure you that the picture you are seeing on the screen is the disease called heat stroke will i really call it a disease this particular one has a season he has a season he actually comes during the heat season when your cages are not well ventilated when your cage is not um spacious that air can actually come into your rabbit cage when you are not giving your rabbits enough water that they require you might actually see this particular disease when your rabbit is very dehydrated they are always dry you don't give them a lot of water their cages are not well ventilated you can actually see this particular disease so i would advise you guys to make your cages very very well ventilated as you guys know rabbits need a lot of hair because they are very uh, hairy animals they need a lot of air so when once they can't get that air it affects them yes so you need your cage to be very well ventilated and also give your rabbits enough water make sure water is always available for them to drink what if you are doing all this and you see this particular disease there are some few things you can actually do you need to wait the rabbit when i say wet the rabbit you go to the rabbit cage from time to time and sprinkle it a little bit of water at least so that it will be um cold it won't be hot sprinkle it a little bit of water from time to time and try giving it uh, a little bit 
of cold water i don't be giving it warm water I give it cold water at that period whereby it's having this particular disease and it will surely go this one does not is not really a hard thing to cure yes just wet it make sure you put it in a place that is cold remove it from the actual position it was because that is actually not favorable for the rabbit put it in a place that you know um has a lot of ventilation and you this particular disease will actually go away for sure this particular one you are seeing on the screen here is called saw hawk yes saw hawk it actually comes under the rabbit leg yes under their foot this particular disease is caused due to um the kind of wire mesh you are using on your rabbit cage if your wire mesh is not really suitable for your rabbit if the wire mesh is very very sharp it can actually be affecting the rabbits under their foot so they might end up having this particular wound you are seeing here yes that's why i advise people to uh, make sure they put very good wire mesh that will not affect their rabbit especially the heavy rabbit because sometimes even when your wire mesh is good and you have a very very heavy rabbit it might actually have this wound under so sometimes i tell people that if you have um a heavy rabbit a very heavy rabbit make sure you put soft bedding or a soft plank inside that cage that the rabbit can actually be resting its foot based on all the weight is on the leg as you guys know they stand on their back leg the front leg does not really carry a lot of weight it's their back leg that carries almost all the weight of their body yes yeah, so you need to put in a very a soft plank or a soft bedding like um dry hay or dry leaves inside there so that you can be stepping its foot on it and if you do this you won't actually see this regularly what if you actually see this the way you can actually cure it is by using ivermectin injection the same ivermectin injection but in this case you don't inject it at the back you inject it at the thigh of the rabbit you inject it at the thigh intramuscular yes you inject it at the thigh either 0.3 to 0.5 depends on how severe the particular issue is once in 14 days yes ivermectin once in 14 days this picture you are seeing on the screen is um uh, the disease is called tilt neck yes it's called tilt head or tilt neck whichever way yes you will notice your rabbit will head will start bending towards one side yes the head will start bending towards one side and the rabbit won't be walking properly although the rabbit might be eating very well but its uh, walking step won't be very very proper and as you guys uh, can see here this rabbit is uh, just like um improper yes so the way you can actually the cause of this particular disease is through a parasite that comes through their feces yes their feces so if you're having dirty environment there is a possibility you can actually have this particular one because if you don't sweep your rabbit cage is very well and the parasite comes through their feces and enters through their nose it can actually cause them this particular tilt neck disease so you need to keep very good farm hygiene when it comes to rabbit farming is very very important this particular disease here yeah, i don't really even know the cure but it's better prevented than even looking for a cure so if you are able to keep good farming hygiene you won't see this particular disease you are seeing on the screen here so i would advise you guys keep good farming hygiene so that you won't see this tilt neck disease so this particular one you are seeing on the screen here is called bloating bloating is caused uh, bloating is um a disease whereby your rabbit's stomach becomes very very big but it's not actually pregnant yes their stomach becomes very very big but it's not actually pregnant this is caused by some things you feed them yes if a lot of gas accumulates in their stomach you will notice their stomach becomes very very big yes this is due to some things you feed them if you feed them a uh, spoiled food or give them spoiled water it can actually cause them to get bloat bloating can actually be easily cured but some people don't know this and they can end up losing their rabbit bloating can be cured using coconut oil just uh, use five five mil of coconut oil put it in the rabbit mouth force it using a string put it in the rabbit mouth let the rabbit drink it and you'll notice the stomach will start going down very well and another thing i will also advise is that a rabbit that have bloat you can just allow it to free range run around and stuff like that so that you can actually reduce the fat inside there and stuff like that so um if your rabbit actually have stuff like bloat here you can actually give them coconut oil or um 
pineapple water also works very very well coca-cola also works very very well yes the normal coke it also works very very well so you can actually use any of these force it into the rabbit's mouth five mil and you notice the stomach will start reducing so that you don't end up losing your rabbit yes the last and final disease we'll be talking about here is coccidiosis yes coccidiosis is um caused due to gastrointestinal uh, infection sometimes due to what you actually feed the rabbit sometimes due to dirty environment yes so sometimes if your rabbits end up eating their poop they can actually get coccidiosis if you give your rabbit a feed that is not convenient for them you can get coccidiosis so coccidiosis is a very very deadly disease and can actually kill your rabbits yes if your rabbit gets coccidiosis and shows a sign you can actually die within three days yes so you don't actually want this to happen avoid you know the kind of feed you feed your rabbit feed them on things that are not really too sugary because too much sugary things can actually cause coccidiosis i did a video on telling you the kind of things you, you shouldn't feed your rabbit so you can go and check out that particular video so coccidiosis can be cured using ivanol there's an injection called ivanol it can also be cured using the normal bitter leaf you know bitter leaf when you squeeze the water or you give them the leaf to eat or you give them the water putting inside their Put a little bit of the water you are finished washing inside their drinking water and let them drink it and also you can also use um, a little bit of hay at least to harden their stomach there and give them uh, some quantity of hay to also eat it can also help and go a long way so i hope you guys learned something from this video please if you if you do it find this video helpful don't forget to give us a like just give us a thumbs up because it takes us a lot of time to create one video you watch give us a thumbs up like comment subscribe to this channel if you want more tips on rabbit farming and turn on the notification bell so that when we post a new video you get notified by youtube thank you guys once again and do have a nice day and as i always say until next time peace out